Coach, can you just talk about the excitement leading up to this? I mean, how long have you been waiting for this specific day, spring practice, to finally get underway? I mean, it's really been the, ever since we got back from the spring break. It's just been, it's, it's almost like a pregame feeling right now. You got butterflies in your stomach, and uh, it's a starting point for a lot of the things we're going to do moving forward. I always say to get ready for the season, there's there's really four different facets of your program. One is the off-season strength and conditioning. Uh, that has to go well. The second part of it is spring football. And then that month, and that segment begins for us today. It just, you know, for us, we've seen them in the weight room. We've seen them do conditioning drills. Obviously, a lot of that translates to football, but there's also guys that are football players that have football instincts. And we graduated so many guys that started a year ago in our program that for a lot of these players, there's not even the ability to watch them on game film. Uh, there's practice film. So th this is really our, our first live evaluation of what we have. No, we're thin, but we, you know, we've basically moved uh, two players from other positions just to give us three. If we didn't do that, we'd have one healthy tailback. Uh, but I was in this position a year ago, uh, similar things. So we had guys that were injured, we moved a guy from receiver, and it really went from a position of concern and, and being very thin to maybe the strongest position on our whole football team. So uh, I'm hoping that happens again. We're certainly excited about James Ward. We're so excited about Orville. Um, you know, we got Booby back, and then we got a couple of guys coming in. So they're going to get a lot of work. So there'll be a very fast learning curve for those guys. You know as much as I do right now that uh, we graduated a four-year starter. Uh, you know, we have guys that were recruited to the program to play quarterback, and now they're going to get their opportunity. So, um, you know, they're going to get reps. And today, when they run a, a live play in team, you and I will be watching that for the first time together. And, and that thing is going to play out. I mean, it, obviously, it's a critical position, um, but, you know, th that thing isn't going to sort out until who knows when, maybe not summer camp. Um, because, you know, it's the accumulation of reps at that position that allows a guy to perform at a high level. And I love that challenge. I really do. I've, I've always loved that challenge. That I, I think it's, it's really fun that it, it's now it's, it's a football team and you have numbers and you have names and you've seen them lift and you've seen them run. And the critical thing is where do we put these guys? What is the best use of our personnel? You know, whether it's special teams and, and we may have a linebacker that becomes a great defensive end for us or we may have uh, a safety that becomes a tailback. You know, th th that, that part of it is enjoyable and it's fun. And you're really, you're evaluating skill sets. That's what we're doing right now. We're evaluating who has ball skills, who understands pursuit angles, who has a, knock, a knack of making plays in space, an offense and who on defense can make tackles in space and it's about putting guys in the right spot and then it's about calling the right things in offense and defense that, that maximizes their strengths and, and this is again the baseline today you're going to see base offense base defense because that's where we're at and how we evolve and where we evolve is going to happen over the next 15 practices.